Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will look at the flip equivalent binary tree which is from lead code number 951. Similar problems that you can solve is invert binary tree from uh, lead code number 226, symmetric tree from lead code number 101 and also read about the mirror tree. Let us now look at the problem statement. In this problem for a binary tree T, we can define a flip operation as follows. Choose any node and swap the left with the right child subtrees. A binary tree X is flip equivalent to a binary tree Y if and only if we can make X equals to Y after some number of flip operations. Given the roots of the two binary trees that is R1 and R2 uh, return true if the two trees are flip equivalent or we should return false. Before looking at the example, let's look at the constraint. In the constraint section, they are mentioning the number of nodes in each of the tree will be from 0 to 100 and each tree will have unique node values from 0 to 99. In this example, if you start at this one, the root node must always be the same. Now, uh, the root node is actually flipped if you can see because the left child is equal to right child in the secondary, right? So, any node can have two options of either getting a flip or may not be getting a flip. And that is why uh, we need to find out if I can convert this first tree into the second tree by doing certain number of flip operations. So if you flip at 1, 3 and 5, then you will convert this first tree into the second tree. And that is why they both are flip equivalent. Okay. So I hope you have understood the problem statement. If you look at the second example, uh, then they are mentioning that if both the nodes are null, then we have to return true. Otherwise, if one of them is null and the other one is not null, then definitely they are not structurally the same. And that is why we will be returning false. So uh, let's look at more observation. In this case, the structurally different trees can never be flip equivalent. So if you look at the first tree with 1, 2, 3 and the second tree uh, with 1, 2 only, they are structurally not the same and also they have a different number of nodes so definitely uh, they cannot be flip equivalent because we cannot do some flip operations on any of the nodes in tree 1 to make it tree 2 that cannot happen because the flip operation cannot change the number of nodes right and the values must match for all the corresponding nodes like what if i say that here there was a 4 then the values will not match right even though the structurally uh, they they both match but then the values of the corresponding nodes are not the same both the trees will exactly have the same number of nodes. If they do not have same number of nodes, then definitely structurally they will ne never be same. Okay. Now let's look at an example and draw a dry run in order to understand our idea. So for any node, there may be a flip happening or there may not be a flip happening. So if we are having a L as the left pointer and R as the right pointer, and if a flip has happened, then it will change to R comma L. And if a flip did not happen, then it will still remain to be L and R in the secondary as well, right? So we have to find out if we can actually uh, get the secondary from the first tree by doing flip operations at any uh, given node of our choice, okay? So if the flip is assumed to happen at a node, like let's say I will start here with the pointer called R1 and R2 in the secondary. So if I assume that the flip has happened here, then I will be going to the left side in, in the first tree, but I will have to go to the right side in the second tree because the flip has happened, right? So the left will now be swapped with the right. And if I assume that the flip has not happened, then I will be going to the left side in the first tree and also the left side in the second tree, okay? So that is my assumption. So what I'm looking to find is if given the first tree and given the option that we can do flip operations at any node of our choice, or we may not do it at all. Can I get the second tree? If I can get it, then I will be returning true. Otherwise, I'll be returning false. So in order to solve this, I will try out all possibilities and I will try the possibility of, let's say, node one getting a flip or not getting a flip. And I will try this for everybody. Okay. So if you think that node one is getting a flip, then I will match the left subtree of one with the right subtree of one in the secondary. And also, I will be matching the right subtree of 1 with the left subtree of 1 in the secondary because I cannot just match left and right and just leave it, right? So I have to match both the sides because I cannot just match the left side of one tree with the right side of the other tree and say it is flip equivalent. No, we should match both the side and both the side must match. It should not happen that one side matched but the other side did not match and that is why we will match them up with AND operators, right? AND operators 
in either of the case you can you assume it to be flipped or not flipped so if it is not flipped then i will be checking the left of first tree with the left of the second tree and the right of the first tree with the right of the second tree simple and since we have an option so i will be trying both these options at every node and i will be joining them using an or operator because it is a choice for us to take or not take so here again let's do a dry run to understand it better now at one if we assume that the flip did not happen then if the flip did not happen then we will be going to the left side on both but if you go to the left side first of all you need to check if they both are non-null yes they both are non-null if they both are null together then it is fine if they have to be null they both have to be null together or they both have to be non-null together it cannot happen that one of them is null and the other one is not null okay because that will not lead to a structurally the same uh, tree isn't it now in this case structurally it is fine but value wise it is not good and that is why uh, we will be returning false from here okay and we will be going back so this means that our assumption of not getting a flip is incorrect and if i get a false return from the left call definitely i will not try the right call because it is joined by an and operation so false ended with true will again be false right so no need to check that now again i will be trying the other possibility of getting a flip so if i assume getting a flip then r1 will go to 2 but now r2 will make a call to the right hand side and it will go to 2 so they both are non-null and they both have equal values now at 2 again we will try out two possibilities I will be going to the left side of 2 and I will be going to the left side of 2 here as well. For a leaf node, if I go to the left side for both of them, then it will be returning true because they both are null at the same time. And if I go to the right hand side, I will go for both of them and they will be returning true. So in either of the case, whether you assume a flip has happened at the leaf node or has not happened, they both will be returning true. So both cases flipped and not flipped will be returning true for uh, this leaf node so definitely whenever a leaf node happens i will simply return a true okay so a true has been returned uh, to two now similarly i will be checking for the right side so i'll be making a call to the right side here and the right side to five because two i was assuming that there is no flip now at five i will assume there is no flip and go to seven and go to eight here but uh, they are not equal and that is why it will return a false value and i will again be going back to five now i will assume that a flip has happened so i will be making a left call from five but i'll be making a right call from this five yes they both are matching they both are leaf nodes so this will be returning a true and then i will go to the right side of five and to the left side of this five so yes they are both are matching uh, they both are leaf node and so this will be returning a true so true ended with true will return true now this two uh, got a true from the left side got a true from the right side so this will return true as well when I go to the right hand side of this one, then what was my assumption that a flip has happened? Because when I made a left call from one, I had made a right call from this one in the second tree. So when I make a right call from this one in the first tree, I'll make a left call. So this is R2 and this is R1. They both are matching. They both are equal. Now I will assume that a flip has not happened. So I will be going to the left side of this three and the left side of this three. So now R2 is null, but R1 is not null. That means structurally they are not the same. And that means we have to return false. They are not flip equivalent. Okay. Now, since assuming that they were not flipped, it did not work for us. Now I will assume they have been flipped. So I'll be again making a call to the left side uh, in R1. But in R2, I will be making a right call because I'm assuming they are flipped. Now this 6 and 6 are exactly the same and they both are leaf node. So it, this will be returning true. Okay. And I'll be going back to three. Now, when I make the right call uh, in the first tree, I will be making the left call in the second tree. They both are null together. So that means structurally they are the same. So this will also return true. And three got true and true from both the side, having assumed they have been flipped. So I got a true for uh, the right call of one and left call already returned true. So this will be returning a true. So this means the tree 1 and tree 2 are flip equivalent in such a way that if I do flip at some of the nodes 0 or more, then I can produce the second tree having started at the first tree. Okay, so I hope you were able to understand this. So uh, in this case, the flip had happened at 1, 3 and 5. Now, uh, the time complexity of this approach is order of n and space complexity is also order of n because the tree could have been a skew tree. 
Let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number this is the C++ code the Java and Python will be shared in the description below you can just check it out uh, I am given the root one and root two of the two different trees if they both are null together then i will be returning true because they are structurally the same and we will assume they have the same value which is no value at all right it is null otherwise if they both are not null together but one of them are null then i will be returning a false because they are structurally not the same and the third condition is even if they both are not null but the values are not equal then still we will be returning false and if i have passed these two lines this means that they both are not null or they both are null together and if they both are not null then they both have equal values as well right so when i go to this line number 18 then uh, we will check for either a flip has not happened or a flip has happened so if a flip has not happened then i will check the left subtree of the first uh, root with the left subtree of the second root and the right subtree of the first root with the right subtree of the second root and they both should be flip equivalent so that is why we are adding with an and operation and similarly if uh, this assumption of not getting a flip at the current node is incorrect then I will be trying with an or operation I will be trying the other option which is go to the right side of the first tree and the left side of the second tree and you go to the left side of the first tree and the right side of the second tree so if any one of these cases can say that it is flip equivalent then the entire tree will be flip equivalent otherwise uh, they will not be flip equivalent i hope you were able to understand it if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you